Here we go. Time to go racing. Hono Superbike race number three from Mother Tech Raceway. Laguna Seca clutches her out. Cameron Bobier gets a good launch. But here comes Tony Elias trying to fight his way up the inside. Yeah, once again, Cameron with just a perfect start. Bobby Fong is going to slot into third. Zanetti is going to move Elias out of the way down into turn number two. Looks like Kyle Wyman there early is in sixth spot. Elias is trying to go back up underneath Zanetti as they roll off into turn number three. You can see these guys well out on the paint now, Greg, whereas this morning had to be a little bit careful getting out there because of the moisture that sat on top of that paint. So they roll down in turn five now. It's going to be Bobby Fong has gotten through on Gagne already. So Bobby Fong is ready to go. He didn't have that great of a race in those iffy conditions this morning. I believe he was back in 10th. We saw him tip off while second yesterday, trying to chase Cameron Bovier back down. Now let's see if Fong can go with Cameron a little bit better. For the number one plate, Cam Bovier going after that 16th win this season. He's looking good. M4X star Suzuki's Bobby Fong in second spot. Coming down through the corkscrew. Everybody looking for some room. What a move. Tony Ilias just straight lines it down up underneath Zanetti as they come down into rainy corner. Look how early he tips that bike into turn 10 as well. There was no way Zanetti was going to get to go back by. So our double podium finisher, Zanetti, on the weekend is slotted back into fifth place now. And he's going to have some work to get by a few of these guys in front of him. And you can see the group behind him. Heron now giving Kenipa all the trouble he could have as he comes up the front straightaway with Cam Peterson just behind them as Zanetti will take that spot with Heron right behind him. As we go back now to Kyle Wyman and Cam Peterson as we go up the hill into the corkscrew. So Cam Peterson has actually reeled in Kyle Wyman here. Looking at the lap times, Cameron Peterson still in the mid 25s, 25 6 that last time by. As you can see him trying to get the back to the back of Kyle Wyman right now. Tony was definitely seeing the pit board and seeing that the time was coming down and the gap behind him was closing in and he didn't want to be pressured and, and, and have the possibility of second being taken away from him because you can see he does have pace and you can see Bobby Fong now just falling back a little bit from his teammate Tony Elias. Now Zanetti is going to start working on the back of the number 50 and Tony actually did it Coming up over the top of turn one, going down into turn number two. He goes straight to the apex, gets that apex speed control. As you can see, he's going to move out a little bit, but not enough to let Bobby sneak back by. White flag flies for Cameron Bobier. The swan song for the Californian. What can you say about Cameron Bobier on his final lap? Out front by 6.8 seconds. A look at his race pace, Jason, and there is at 123.185 that will be legend in a race. The fastest lap ever recorded around here was Josh Heron in 18 at a 22.9 on a Dunlop Q, the one lap wonder for Cameron Bobier on a race tire to go just two tenths of a second slower than that and to go faster than his qualifying time is unbelievable. The gap back to Tony Elias. What a great job from Tony Elias coming in here, knowing this is going to be his last ride on the Suzuki. Looks like he's going to put it on the podium all three races. And to be fair, he's only 6.8 back. We've seen this guy back as far as 20 plus seconds this year, and he's continued to fight. And Lorenzo Zanetti, again, another guy that has come into our championship. We've, we saw him at Washington to start, and then we missed him actually at Barber. And then he was able to get to Indy. And, and obviously here at Laguna Seca. So Zanetti wants to be a mainstay here. That looks like it's going to be our podium. And again, Greg, we've got three brands on the podium here in Moto America. What a race we've had by this guy, Cameron Bobier, into the final corner, the final time of his Hono Superbike career. Cameron Bobier, 51 race wins in Moto America competition. If you're sitting at home watching this, put your hands together. Tony Elias, his last ride on a Suzuki, gets second place. And Lorenzo Zanetti, a new star in Hono Superbike, brings it home in third for another podium appearance to wrap up the 2020 season. Bobby Fong in fourth, Jake Gagne in fifth. Here comes Cam Peterson, your stock 1000 national champion, a wheel in the air. And Cam Peterson takes the checkered flag for eighth place.